goes by and yet I wonder Are you and me still the same? Are you still loving the game? I know I don't You cast your spell and I went under I know the laughter and the pain Will I ever love again? So we're currently in Woi Woi right now uh, and we're gonna start off the day by having a good breakfast I guess a little bit of lunch now, it's about 11.30 in the morning So this is the place we're going to, it's called Fisherman's Wharf Apparently you can get some fish and chips and you get some kind of nice view looking down there to the waters And apparently there's a lot of pelicans too <laughs> See that? Big ones So this restaurant opens at 12 and we're here right on the dot Right on the dot <laughs> Because with the whole social distancing thing yeah. We gotta come in really early, right? I don't think you can book here yeah, I don't think you can book, so you just come early and I think this place is really nice to have lunch like, very The view, beautiful. the backdrop, it's just beautiful, isn't it? Mm. And today is a very good day Yeah. It's been raining the last week yeah. So this is really nice, it's a good treat Apparently you can book this place, so that was a really wrong information <laughs> there uh, But we came in really like on the dot when it opens And we got a seat and the only seats available are on the deck here outside, which is perfect. It's actually the best, mm, right? The because, best view. Yeah, look at and you got view. this view down towards the Brisbane water. It's beautiful, really, really beautiful. You see all these seagulls coming in. Mm. I think we're ready to strip down our food. <laughs> <laughs> we have to defend our food. That's right. So let's see what we can order now. So we got our dish here, and I'm going for the classic fish and chips. And tell me, it's going for? The garfish. So they do have the lemon zest and parsley. Oh my god. So I was about to go full bite and then I realized there's actually a lot of small bones I'm not sure whether you can eat it but anyway to be safe Okay, now everything's good mm. <laughs> They slightly fry it and then you can tell like the lemon and then the parsley is very refreshing and it's very fresh as well like the fish is very very fresh really good this is a good thing about getting the classic fish and chips and there's no bones right and has got a lot of bones look at that that's so easy to cut it bit of a lemon perfect mm. oh that's, that's nice and fresh Love that. Meanwhile, Ayami is still struggling. <laughs> Did you regret now ordering that one? <laughs> well, I don't really regret because it's really nice. But there's a lot of bones. So, we have friend Peter and Yen. They do also have a YouTube channel. And then I remember watching this one of the vlogs. like Peter almost hit the window glass, right? And I was just laughing back then. But now, I almost hit this one. Look at that. It's, I mean, it's <laughs> it's so clear. And then I thought it's like just like walk through, and then almost hit it. So Peter and Helmi are now the same. You're in that <laughs> boat, man. You're in that boat. What do you have to say for yourself, Helmi? I mean, well done to whoever cleaned the door because it's super clean. I thought it's like. <laughs> Go straight. You know, people actually look at me, it's like, mm. <laughs> let's go. Twenty minutes later, we are here on our next destination, Terrigal. Beautiful area by the beach and we're gonna be staying the night here and then continuing our journey tomorrow morning towards Port Stephen So make sure to stay tuned But this area, you might have seen it on the news that recently there was a lot of erosion on I think the other side of the beach here behind me and the government's doing a lot of things to fortify it now So there's a lot of construction by the beach When we were checking in this hotel, they were warning us that you might hear a lot of noise So hopefully that's not the case we managed to get some upgrade on the top side here So we're gonna go up and check out the room in a second But apparently it has a really nice view Alright, so we've got the top floor Just really nice Really simple, you've got the bed as soon as you come in TV The bathroom 
simple, not too expensive the place, but the view though. Look at this view. Except there's a bit of construction there. Other than that, beautiful. checked out the beach was beautiful but as you can see there's a lot of a lot of major works happening around the beach a little bit hazy and very hot for some reason weird because it's 18 degrees but right now we're gonna drive 20 minutes up north to the entrance because apparently in the entrance you can go from one end uh, to the other end and kind of walk through the water if it's low tide a bit like Jesus we're hoping that it's low tide when we get there uh, I'm not too sure though because it's all different timing but let's just hope so but we'll check out how beautiful the entrance is okay so apparently it's high tide I know I don't come to the entrance quite often I think the last time I was here probably about 10 or 12 years ago quite a long time but I still remember how beautiful this place is and it still is seriously sometimes it's just good to just have a little break and really get out of Sydney from all the hustle and bustle and just kind of enjoy the nature and for some reason, every time we go on a road trip, Helmi's always, always far behind. She's always taking photo and always like a kilometer behind and I always get to the destination before her. It's just dealing with slow people is just amazing, isn't it? Oh no. Let me, let me check my phone. So we left our bag just down here and somehow the wave came in and swept it that side and it's all wet now where's my phone oh with you okay. yes your phone's with me it's safe <laughs> at least your phone is safe yeah i know <laughs> oh my god i guess people are still traveling and taking holiday as you can see there's actually a lot of people here that's like, right on the park mm -hmm. and just with the family with the kids yeah. i think a lot of them are you know are social distancing i can mm. see people are very edgy uh, and a lot of the hotels that we're staying, they're asking us, uh, you know, our postcode, yeah. whether we come from Sydney's uh, hotspot, if you know yeah. what I mean. Uh, but we are not from the hotspot. Yes. Thank God, Thank like, God. you know, let's keep it that way, hopefully, because apparently if you are from the hotspot, uh, they can refuse your entry mm. to even some activities around uh, sort of the greater region of Sydney as well, because they want to make sure um, their area is safe. Yeah. yeah, and also they do take your details, you know, your full name, mm. email address, mobile number, so everything Our license, recorded. everything recorded, yeah. yeah. Now we're still at the entrance, uh, but just beyond this Ferris wheel, there's I think a bunch of eatery areas. Mm -hmm. We might check that out, it looks kind of cool and we kind of need a coffee too, so yeah. why not? So this is where they usually do the pelican feeding, yeah. just right there. And even you can see the pelicans on the other side there, a little island there in the middle. They're like, come on, we are hungry, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Maybe we should buy fish and check it. Okay, so I got the coffee. I actually really want to go to Long Jetty. So, where's that? Long Jetty is about maybe five minutes drive from here, and it's basically like a jetty. So it's just a jetty, but then it's very beautiful during sunset, and it's super long, like super long. So gotta go. Feels like feels like the only thing you can do here is pelican feeding and walk around the beach. Nothing too fancy around here. But honestly, like Central Coast is so beautiful. It is. I know it's it looks you know normal, but then yeah. when you are here, it's actually very beautiful. Yeah, I think that's the hard part being you know a local resident of Sydney. It's yeah. like how do you find the outer region or Sydney itself? interesting it's yeah. always a challenge for us you know uh, but there's always things to do yeah. you look hard enough and hopefully and we show you guys some of the things that you could do around the area it's beautiful really uh, I mean I think you can do pedal boarding as well which we're not gonna get into because tell me constantly <laughs> just in case can you not finish my coffee yeah they actually burned the coffee really yeah I'm very very disappointed very very disappointed <laughs> Just letting you know, I used to be a barista like just like eight, ten years ago. Man, I get really, really anal about 
coffee. Seriously. All right, so we've just arrived here at Long Jetty. Oh my God. From up the hill, driving down, the view is spectacular, unbelievable, right? This is, I think, the highlight of Central Coast. Yes. Oh my God. You guys you gotta guys... come and see this. Correct. Take a look. Like mm -hmm. this is the highlight of Central Coast. So Central Coast is a very easy day trip from Sydney. You can actually just follow our journey oh, for the sunset. Such a beautiful place. So beautiful. All right, that's all for today, guys. And don't forget to punch the like button, subscribe, ring the bell notification because it's free. And I'll see you next week because we're gonna go to Port Stephen. See ya. Love like, we'll never